Happy New Year, writers. It is hard to believe it, but we have made it to 2022. And the year is off to a very interesting start. Here in Virginia, we had 70 degree weather followed by a massive snowstorm that knocked out power to most of the city where I live, including me for about 18 hours. And now we are dealing with some frigid temperatures, but the lights are on. I'm able to use my cell phone to have some internet and all is well, even in the midst of all the things that are happening right now. This month, we are going to look at one of the most important things that you need to consider when you are thinking about your writing year and the goals that you want to accomplish. So you see, it's a great time to think about launching projects, to think about the goals you want to achieve. All of that's great. But if you don't think about this one thing, you're not as likely to achieve them. And that thing is how you see yourself. So if you're not sure how you see yourself, I have a very powerful exercise that I learned about 20 years ago that you can try. And I find that it's a great litmus test for where you are and how you see yourself. Stand in front of a mirror, look yourself in the eyes and say, I love you. I really, really love you. Now, the first time I tried this, I was boohooing at the word I, I couldn't get anything more out. So I did it day after day after day. It took me about three months before I could say it. And finally, I got to a point where it was easy, but it was still, it was still uncomfortable. But I tell you, doing that one practice changed the way I see myself. And now it's very easy for me to look in the mirror and say that. And, you know, as I sit here with that, I am very grateful that I learned that lesson, that I went through that work, even though it was uncomfortable because it has made all of the difference in my life. And see, that's the thing about discomfort. Discomfort is not a bad thing. It is just a signal that we have reached our growth edge and we have an opportunity to flourish even more. So that's an important thing to think about when it comes to the new year. What is your growth edge regarding how you see yourself and how can you flourish more? I have a number of different exercises in this blog post, along with a nice little story about a time when I was judging me and having trouble with getting my photos taken. So you can read all about that if you like. And then, you know, I have a couple of other blog posts that you can take a look at from previous years, which offer different ways to think about the year and how you can start it off in a strong way that will take you to the place you want to be. So you have lots of different options, friends. What I want to say to you, though, is happiest of New Year's to you. I wish you all good things over the coming 12 months. And I'm so grateful that I get to share this time with you. And as a final thing, I'd like to ask you what you love about yourself. Please send that to me in an email so that I can create this nice long list of things that we all love about ourselves that can begin to form the foundation for who we are and how we will see each other in the coming year. Shanti Namaste, friends. Please, please always write on.